Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament from Form Futura. It's called Tibra 3D Sculpt. It's a very strange filament. <laughs> but let's have a look at the filament after the intro. So, like I mentioned in the, in the intro, it does a <laughs> strange filament. So, here with the settings, they recommend a print temperature of 190 to 220 and bed temperature of 45 to 60 C and medium speed. And this is probably just the normal PLA settings that they recommend here. But they say uh, the heated part can be heated up to 70 C with a heat gun to sculpt. And Sculpt is a unique sculptable 3D printing filament materialized by Trihub Trebrat 3D, which allows one to post process Sculpt 3D prints objects similar to sculpting clay by projecting a temperature of 70 degrees on a Sculpt 3D printed object. It will be possible to tweak and fine tune the 3D printing part, and you can remodel it slightly. Uh, you can also hide visible print layer lines and, and sits and, and blobs and, and such things. And you can have a look at this film at formfutura.com. But I did some printing on, or attempted some printing and <laughs> found it to be uh, quite strange. <laughs> so let's have a look at the models. So first of the few models I was trying to print ended up like blobs <laughs> like this one. This was a Mr. Belly <laughs> foot, <laughs> and this was my maker coin, <laughs> and it was not uh, giving me excellent results, as you can see. Here's another attempt with the maker coin. Um, uh, the problem I was having with a bed temperature at 60C, the, the base was melting, and um, here's a bridging test gone wrong. Uh, I cancelled this print and was trying to remove the print from the bed. The bridging was coming out terrible <laughs> and I then decided to stop printing fine detail models or, or very small ones so I, I printed this one and this one came out somewhat uh, strange as well. Here you can see in the bottom the, the, the part is melted in the bottom <laughs> um, I might be because I, I was removing it too early from the bed. But here in the in the fine details, there's drooping and, and there's some stringing also. And, and in the fine details, it's difficult. Like here on the ear, this one is melted down. So if, if it's a small area that the filament is testing, printing, it is melting too fast because the, the melting point for this filament is, is really low. And here's a model I decided to print without uh, any interference and, and this one's stuck to the bed but while it was printing as you can see here in the side the bottom part of it melted away so it's it's not uh, really recommended to print at 60 c on the bed because that one is melting the, the plastic and also here in the in the small part this was melted together and this really was not giving me any any happiness <laughs> with printing and I have some of it left. Uh, the, the thing is because of its really low melting point you have to be careful with what type of models you're gonna do. You, you can't really do any anything with fine detail or, or small prints. It doesn't have uh, a chance to cool down. It would just blob up and, and make a make a mess like this. <laughs> uh, it's really difficult to to get it off the bed without uh, damaging the shape and even if you wait until it's fully cooled down and everything is cooled down the bottom part of the part is, is melted so it doesn't hold its shape with a bed temperature of 60 C and I was finding it just me melting at, at 50 C maybe so I didn't really enjoy this filament and, and I just cancelled my testing with, with this one left. <laughs> uh, I think this is uh, as good as it gets for me with this filament. It's, it's not horrible in the, in, the, in the surface finish and it's very wax-like. 
uh, texture to, to rub your finger over it but everything with a with a small detail it's not gonna be a good filament for that so if you're maybe doing some bigger parts it could be useful but then you have to be really careful of not removing the part of the bed until it's fully cooled down um, that was maybe my impatience <laughs> to to blame here but this was an interesting filament nevertheless so this was my overview of the form futura tibra 3d sculpt i didn't get very good results with this filament maybe i'm doing something wrong <laughs> but uh, you can have, have a look at this filament at formfutura.com and, and give it a go if, if you want to i don't know exactly a practical use case at this time <laughs> for this filament i found it too troublesome and, and you can't really get any good details with this filament it's maybe good for some maybe investment casting or, or something uh, something like that but i don't know but this will be it for this video i hope you like this video and you can give it a thumbs up and like and share and, and leave a comment and, and subscribe so for now i thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one